Hi guys, I'm Sushmita from Miss Pink Shoes and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about all of the products that I've emptied and whether I'll be repurchasing them or not. So this is something that I do every few months because I'm a YouTuber. I try a run of products, I finish some of them and I discuss it with you guys whether I'm going to buy them again or not. So that's exactly what this video is going to be about. I'm also going to be giving you many reviews about each product. So yes, without any further delay, let's get started. The first product is the Pantene Oil Replacement cream definitely repurchasing this I love this to bits I bought this I think four five months back and I've been using it regularly uh, at least thrice or four times a week and this has lasted me for so long so I know it goes a really long way but it makes my hair look and feel great it removes all the frizz it makes it softer and shinier and nicer and basically this is like magic in a tube I absolutely love this I'm definitely going to be buying this again the next product is this shower gel from from Nivea which I really really like so this was uh, sent to me as PR along with their couple of other products and I use this and I really really like this but I'm not going to be repurchasing this because I am trying to use uh, natural products on my body which are free from chemicals and this is not natural so yeah it's not like I'm completely stopping chemical based products or commercial products but I'm trying my best to substitute uh, as many products as possible so I've been using uh, handmade natural soaps and I've also been trying out some shower gels which are completely natural so yeah I'm going to be sticking to those for a while and not going to be getting to this uh, this of course didn't do any harm to my body in any manner it actually makes my skin feel really really soft and I smell good all the time this has such a nice fragrance but since I'm trying to make a shift to like natural products I'm not going to be repurchasing this the next one is the Tony and Guy heat protection mist so I love using this every time I'm using heat onto my hair in fact sometimes when I'm even stepping out I just spray this because it's so hot in Chennai and the sun is also heat I don't really know if that makes sense but I still like doing it and that's why I emptied it but I'm not going to be repurchasing this one because I do want to give other heat protectants a go and see if I feel any difference in my hair when I use different brands uh, this was the first heat protectant that I tried and I really did see a difference in my hair with especially the breakage while I'm using you know a curler or a straightener or any form of heat so yeah I'm going to be giving other heat protectants a go so for a while I'm not going to be repurchasing this but in case those don't work out then definitely getting back to it. My next empty product is the Garnier Micella Water. This is their oil infused variant. Definitely, definitely, definitely repurchasing this. Uh, this is my holy grail for makeup removal. It's very uh, affordable. It removes my makeup to the teeth and I don't have to struggle with it. It does not make my eyes burn. It's basically a hassle fee product which does the job and it's just amazing when it comes to the price point. So definitely going to buy this again. We have the red wine face wash from Sugar Plum Soap Co which is a natural brand they are completely handmade and I've spoken about them a million times on my channel I absolutely love their products so I emptied their red wine face wash which I absolutely love this smells so good like I have just that much left so I'm probably going to use it for a day or two more but the smell guys is so good it is so refreshing and nice and they actually use red wine in their product it's not like a flavor or something it's actually red wine used and this has jojoba beads which does that slight exfoliating thing for your skin so you get everyday gentle exfoliation with a boost of freshness I love using this in the morning because this just wakes me up and it cleanses my skin so well and I just love how my skin feels after this because it feels soft and nice and you know nicely cleansed so yeah definitely purchasing this. Coming to a perfume that I emptied, this is the Island Escape Sea Salt and Bergmont uh, uh, Spray from Marks and Spencer's. Definitely buying this again. I love this fragrance to bits. This was in one of my favourites a couple of months back. I bought this a long time ago but for some reason I never used it and ever since I started using it, this has been in every bag I carry and sometimes I even leave it on my shelf and I use this on a regular basis because I love the fragrance. This does have a bigger bottle. I won't be buying the bigger one because I do have a couple of perfumes so I want to buy this just for like my travel and for you know carrying around with me to keep in my bag and especially that it's summer right now I have to carry a perfume in my bag so for that I'm going to be purchasing the same size again because it's just an amazing fragrance it's very me it's very like fresh and islandy and nice and yeah I love the fragrance to bits. Next we have the Plum Green Tea Revitalizing Face Mist which is something that I really enjoy using especially in the 
climate that we have right now in Chennai. It is so hot and this has been super refreshing and nice feeling on the skin. So I am going to repurchase this because in the summers I definitely need something like this. This makes you feel instantly fresh. This has some really nice minerals in it which actually does good to your skin. It does help in keeping your skin hydrated. So throughout the day you don't want to keep like applying your moisturizer for hydration. You can just spray this on and this will do the job. Initially when I started using this I was a little iffy about it whether it's going to work or not and what's it even doing. It's just making me feel fresh. I can just use water for that. But uh, eventually I realized it does help in keeping your skin hydrated. You can put this over your makeup as well. I have tried. I don't know if you're technically allowed to do that or not but I have uh, sprayed this on my face. Over a full face of makeup does not move my makeup or anything and makes me feel really fresh and nice. So especially for my shoot days this has been like a lifesaver because I just spray this and I feel a lot nicer. So yeah I am going to repurchase this because for the summers I really need this to get me through. Talking about the beauty coat tea tree oil which was again sent to me as a PR but I really enjoyed using this. I've been using this uh, repeatedly uh, for a lot of things. I like to mix it with my moisturizer. Sometimes I mix it with my uh, you know toner or whatever I'm applying on my skin basically. I also like mixing it with my hair oil or anything I'm doing to my hair. Sometimes I like applying curd and aloe vera. I mix a bit of this. It really helps with the dandruff and yeah it has helped me keep my scalp quite clear. Now I don't know whether it's the beauty coast tea tree oil that's doing it or a normal tea tree oil would do that too. That's why I've decided to give a couple of other tea tree oils a go. Nykaa has a whole range of essential oils and a lot of other brands do too. So yeah I'm going to give those a go. So I'm not going to be repurchasing this specific product again because I just want to see if there are other tea tree oils that work the same way or this has something special to it. Next we have the L'Oreal Matte Magique 12 hour foundation. I'm not going to be repurchasing this for a while simply because I have a lot of foundations that uh, you know work really really well for me and I just feel like if I buy this I will use it and I want to use the ones that I already have. So just for that reason I'm not going to buy this again but I really 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 like this foundation. Great for the summers. It's a great time to buy this if you want to buy a good matte based foundation and if you're on the budget then I would definitely recommend this. If not this then the L'Oreal Infallible is like my favorite. I've mentioned about this a lot of times but that's much more expensive than this one. So yeah if you're on a budget and you want a nice completely matte foundation this is a great one but for me for now I'm not gonna be repurchasing it. Okay moving on to a product which has been in a lot of my favorite videos. It has been in my empties video. It has been in basically a lot of my videos. It's the Sugar Plum Sopco Neem and Turmeric Acne Serum. I don't want to repeat the same thing again and again because I've spoken about this so much but yeah definitely gonna buy this because this helps in keeping my skin acne free like nothing else the moment I have a breakout I apply this and it goes away in two to three days uh, I don't know if you guys can see there is a little patch here a small dot here which used to be an acne uh, until uh, one and a half two days ago I just kept applying this even through the day because I was home all day and at night I would apply this in sleep and now you cannot see my acne because of this so yeah totally gonna buy this even if I don't have acne I just apply this because it prevents uh, future acne from coming and it does help with the acne scars as well it is not the best treatment for acne scars uh, but it does help a little so yeah definitely gonna buy this again Okay, now we have the Nykaa I Am Black Kajal which is pretty much non-existent. I am going to buy this again because I did try other Kajals guys. I tried the Nykaa I Am 24-7 hoping that uh, since this worked that might work too. It did not work out for me. It smudged, it disappeared and went away. I tried so many Kajals from the drugstore lately but nothing really stays on my waterline because I have extremely watery eyes. Like even right now I have water coming from the corner of my eye and in between uh, takes I do have to like you know sort of touch it up because my eyes are really really watery so yeah I really love this kajal and the only thing that stays on my eye is this one so I'm definitely gonna buy this again all right finally the last two empties I have are these two lip colors so this one is from Wet n Wild it's their cat suit liquid lipstick in the shade give me mocha and the next one is the sugar it's a pout time vivid lip color in the shade breaking wear I'm gonna try and swatch it because I think I might just have enough to swatch yeah I do so this is 
is what Breaking Bad looks like. It's a really nice everyday pink color. Absolutely love this. This was like my go-to throughout college, and even otherwise, I used to use this so much, and that's why I finished it. Uh, but I'm not gonna buy this again because if you can see the color I have right now is my current go-to pink color. Wait, let me show you the color. So it's the Lakme Absolute uh, Lux Matte Lip Color with Argan Oil in the shade Mauveness. This is the one I have on my lips right now, and I love this shade. And if you really compare the two shades, this is a little more pinky, and this is a little more mauve tone, which I don't mind because again, a great everyday lip color. So I'm not gonna buy this again because I have a great substitute. And formula wise, I like the Lakme one a lot nicer because it's a lot more long wearing. Sugar is a little more creamy and comfortable. This is extremely creamy and comfortable as well. Uh, not as creamy as this, but this lasts longer. So yeah, uh, that's why I'm not gonna be buying the sugar one again. Okay, coming to the Wet n Wild one, this is one of my favorite as nude lip colors. I barely have anything left, so I swatched whatever I could. This is what the shade looks like. It's a really nice nude lip color. Now, this is something I am thinking of repurchasing. I'm not exactly sure because I just want to go through my drawers and see if I have a similar nude color. If I do, I won't buy it again. I'll try posting about it in my Insta in case you guys are interested. But otherwise, I will buy it again because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous nude lip color. The form. Formula is great. I have a full review on this lip color, and I just really, really enjoy using it. I love the formula. I love the price point. So yeah, if I don't have a similar one, then definitely buying this again. So guys, that was it for this video. I really, really hope you guys liked it and it was useful for you. And if it was, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. The link is down below. And I will see you soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.